money. Hey guys, so <laughs> let's do <laughs> That's a good intro. We have a really nice table tonight. John stopped by Anonymous. Finally he's getting like, oh you, you, you can say my name on the video. I'm not too scared now anymore. <laughs> So John brought some really cool stuff, really, really cool stuff. I mean, he's been collecting forever, he's been going to a show, so he has some really nice treasures. This one is amazing, who is this maker? Stan Fujisaka. What? Out of Hawaii. It's, you cannot even describe how smooth this knife is. It's just like, it's insane. He taught Les George how the, to grind. The blade is so light and so smooth that it's, you don't feel that you even push anything open. The smallest flick. Oh yeah, I did cut myself, by the way. <laughs> it's just insane. Definitely one of the smoothest knives. And this has no be bearings, nothing. Just, yeah, it's just, tons. just perfect. Really, really perfect. What else cool is here? Like Zerny. Oh, this Terzuola is gorgeous. Bob Terzuola, just beautiful. It's like peel ply, tamas Tamascus. Then you have a blue wheel and carbon fiber handles. Very interesting tongue to looking blade. Line of lock. Grind. Really, really beautiful knife. I believe that's a mini Starfighter. RJ Martins. I mean, hey, three RJ Martins. One of them is Damascus. Damascus, the Damascus, is, Damascus with this one is CTS really beautiful. XHP core. Look at that. Just this one is beautiful, beautiful. Rendered the set. Very smooth, very nice sleeper. Super smooth also. Beautifully made. Is this Jeremy or that's a call up? That's the collab. That's a call. Oh, oh yeah, that's uh, what, $17? Yeah, something like that. $1,700. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these were, the people went crazy for this last year, the spring, I mean, the fall show. When in the, what is it, September, October? Crazy. This one is cool. He's this boy. is actually scary. You guys remember I have a uh, video from the, from the show of uh, Kate's table. Kate Dewey from Hawaii. He had the really just insane beautiful like engravings. They were really expensive and then you have like a basic looking knife, but they're still not cheap, they're kinda expensive, but those those are these with the crazy flippers. So if you like a split second too late, you're gonna kinda get pinched by it. But look at that, that's like a Vance type knife. Vance would carry this. Amazing with this is incredible light. For how big it is. Is it actually bigger? I think it's bigger than Titan. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little <laughs> it bit. It is bigger. For how huge the th this knife is, is gigantic. No. It's actually very, very light for how big Jeez. it is. And it's it's scary smooth, so imagine what kind of guillotine you have coming on your fingers like that. It's kind of funny. You really want to make sure when you hand it to somebody new that you want to use two hands. What else is yours? Oh, this Salmonaro is really nice. I'm a big Salmonaro fan. He has beautiful work, especially the bullseye. I cannot wait to see that Balker. I'm, I just hope that it's going to be good because I have it on the pre-order. The Balker Salmonaro. Did you see it? It's actually no. insane. Oh, yeah, cheap. yeah, I saw a picture. 130 bucks. Titanium handles, the file work, everything. Just like his custom. Yeah. It looks amazing on the pictures. I just hope it's gonna be a good knife. I remember these two you got from Africa, George right? Yep. From the fr friend brought it from, to you from Africa. Made by a guy Where named George Mueller from South Africa. Interesting knives. Really nice. Uh, Brian Tai. Brian Tai, yeah. Early, Early yeah. Mm -hmm. Todd Beg Bodega Black Gold. There's only 10 of those. It's signed and numbered. That's number three. Look at that, you have it with like a tall over. <laughs> you can take your old Alan custom. Yeah, that one is like nice and elegant. This is cool, that's a new prototype what John came up with. Look at that, it looks really badass when it's close. It's like a really nice shape to it, the curves and everything. And then you have this gigantic, it's the same style like, like all his knives, the tux. <laughs> it's just like really big. I like this one a lot. I mean, it's gigantic for me, but I just like how it looks. I think it's a beautiful knife. It's super smooth, for, especially for a prototype. 
and here is some of his stuff that he did recently like I told you guys like he is getting he's really good at what he does now what, really really guys? look at that that's that's nice it's only once a week. I think you said Jeff, that you're not a fan of this, no, this type of thing. I love it. I was when I've seen the first, when I've seen the first, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. When I when I remember when uh, John did the first one, like that type of uh, finish, I was amazed. Like that is freaking sick. I just thought like a colorful ball sack. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's been turning out some really cool work. Let me just oh, fixing up this so I can hold the camera a little better. Out of here. Just doing this. Hold on, let me let me get on. Here you go. Here you go. This one is really cool too. It's like really heavy orange peel. This is kind of new thing that he's been playing around, like you've seen on that. It's kind of like a scratch. I'm not sure about this. It's not my thing, but I can see a lot of your pattern. Yeah, I can see that some people will will really love it. It's just not my thing, but. I can see that a lot. some people will like that because it is it is different. That's a nice one. I like that one a lot. That's my user. You don't use your knives, do you? <laughs> that actually meant for you. I thought that was like a paperweight. <laughs> I use it for a paperweight. Yeah, here's Jeff's new baby. He's like obsessed with this. Jack Hoback, Quaken, insanely, insanely smooth and nice flip. Beautiful. I mean, the knife itself is not my type, the shape, but it's really perfectly made, just super smooth. Flips amazingly easy. Some of Jeff's toads that he's been working for Blade HQ. Where is the rest? Did he put them away? Yeah. He's like finishing them, hoping to ship them tomorrow. I don't know if that's gonna, if that's gonna happen, but he's really trying. Yeah, the other ones he has to regrind, he fouled them up. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's new custom strider he got, I think, what, last week or this week. Really cool one. It's interesting because look at that. It has really, there's actually a different blade shape. Where's his regular strider? Is it in his pocket? Yep. He just came in and took it. Oh, did he? Yeah. If you notice, when the regular... Oh, you have regular... S oh, you don't have S and G, but this no, will go. SM that's not a regular. Yeah, but like the the <laughs> typical blade shape. You know, yeah, the, the yeah, typical yeah. blade well, shape is this, yeah. and this one actually more straight and then more pronounced belly, mm -hmm. and then more like a clip point tip. Interesting, like really beautiful one. I really like this. Super like super light, really really light. I like that, like a conceal carry custom. This is Vance's new custom. Seracore. Custom Seracore red, like. This Sarah code looks really cool. Bob has the same exact same one. Same exact yeah. one. There's only a few very of them nice. made, so both got very nice on blade. That. What else is here new? Not much new, no. No. Oh, I really like this. I don't know if I showed it in the pre last week. I really like this skirt. Is the F3 flippers? This is the three and a half version. Really big fan of this. Just feels nice. It's it's almost it's pretty much the same blade length, like the Hinder three and a half inch XM18. But because the handle is smaller, you have the same blade. But overall knife feels a lot smaller, and like it's like my perfect size. I like it a lot. Really, really nice. What else is here? Jeff is actually tempted about selling this beautiful knife, but it's it's expensive. But really nice. I'm tempted to buy these events because I'm obsessed with microtags. I think they're really good knives, and he's selling it, so I might have to work out some deal with him. Even though I don't like the auto the from the side autos, but I just need that knife. Dead and the vector. I need to get those. Definitely need to get those. This is that other one. You guys seen the hint of this when Van showed it in the video where I was shopping on the end? This is that custom AR. But unlike regular ARs, beside the grind, it is actually concealed carry, so it's actually nice and light. It's, it's a very frame lock versus a liner lock. Oh yeah, there's a normal yeah, line lock. First guild it's actually super light for how big it is. And it's not a big blade, but the handle, the overall knife is big. Yeah. But it's really light and really slick. Different shape than this. Kind of so like it. I'm still not a fan handle. of the sh uh, Strider's handle shapes. But this is a the difference there, I though? can appreciate the knives. They're good knives. Like this one's straight, and this is an angle. Uh-huh, oh yeah, yeah. That. It's a different shape. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Works good in hand. 
What else is here? I brought to show the Doberman Steampunk knife. Alan Alishowitz. Alishowitz, it's one of the older ones, I think he yeah. said. Jeff did some little tweaking to it. I think what he's changed this, yeah, the finish yeah. on the titanium. I've seen some amazing work from Alessio, it's oh, just beautiful. On the, on the knife show, the, the prototypes he had were just amazing. The last knife show I asked him if he could watch our luggage. <laughs> <laughs> some of my stuff, you've seen that, I don't think I have, I don't have anything new. Sebastian, oh, they did this today, this is pretty neat. And remember the Junior, spider Junior, the Alex? Check out what they did, they booed it. It actually looks pretty neat. And the, Cool thing is, look how it how it changed, how it looks when it's closed. It looks better. It looks a lot better actually when it's closed, and also when it's open. You know what it reminds me? I think this way for some reason, uh, the street bead and what is the other one? The clip points, fixed blades oh, from yeah, Perrin, yeah. Fred Perrin design. Fred Perrin, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else is here? I like this one a lot. I think I showed it in previous videos. I like this a lot, it's a good looking knife. And I love this, I think this is awesome knife. BBR2, Bastinelli BBR2. Really cool stuff today. We had a lot of fun chopping, I've chopped crop wood, crap load of wood today. Anonymous has this, so I'm kind of torn between the two. Small one or large one? None of them is perfect for me because I want a plain edge, but I don't think I'll ever find that, so I'm gonna probably have to sell for one of those. I don't know. They gotta fight, who's gonna give me a better offer? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, having fun. You going to grind something, Sebastian? Oh, yeah, now you wanna go, go for it? Sebastian, thinking about doing that. Second one. Oh, you already did grind it, right? Yeah, it's it's so good. much. Do you, oh, nice. When, what do you start off with? What grip? Uh, when I do my grind knives, uh, I did 50. And I just went back recently. I tried to. Uh, I bought a bunch of 36 grits. Don't like it on the hardened steel. Yeah, 50 is perfect. Uh, that's too fine, I think. 50? I, I did the 50 grits. Try it. I'm gonna try it one time. I'm gonna try, I think I have 80 grit, but I've, the 50 was works perfect for me. Let's try it. If you want to do a finer finish, try 80. I'll see. Anonymous giving me advice again. I'm sure that he's lying to me. He just wanna like mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of knife porn. Really cool stuff today. A lot of nice, especially Anonymous's collection is just insane. And that's just like portion of it. So nice stuff hope you enjoyed it guys thanks for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself